Hey guys, this tutorial is all about organizing your actions in Photoshop. Yay! I know there's a lot of pretty actions people out there that have quite a few collections. You know who you are. <laughs> And, um, you know, we've been hearing from you guys that you're just looking for a way to organize these actions and, you know, be able to find the ones that you play and use the most uh, easier and just, just be able to get to your favorites easier. So in this tutorial, we're going to go over two ways to organize your actions. Keep in mind, this is for CS users and CC, that's Creative Cloud. And uh, let's just go ahead and jump right in here. Uh, so I have my Pretty Actions Pure collection open right now. When you look in your Actions panel, you'll be able to see all of your collections open and close. Now in most of our tutorials, you'll notice that this is how our Actions panel looks. Um, I do not have button mode on right now. So I would find the action that I want and press play at the bottom of my panel. Um, button mode, if you click on your little menu icon at the top of actions, your actions panel, you can click on button mode and just click on the action and it plays. It is really the quickest way um, to play your actions. I'm just going to click on that and drag it in the trash. Now to organize, uh, the first way that we're going to go over organization is by color coding your actions. So when you scroll through this collection, or any other collection, you'll be able to spot um, your favorite actions very easily. So you'll have to come up with a specific way of how you want to organize them. I would say pick, oh, well, let's color, uh, you know, in this tutorial, let's go ahead and color our favorites blue. So you can easily scroll, scroll through and find your favorite actions and just click them and press play. So let me show you how that works. You do have to exit button mode so that you can uh, kind of play with the actions here. Um, let's say I always use clean contrast. So I'm gonna click on it. Again, we're out of button mode, that should be unchecked. And I'm just gonna double click beside uh, the words here over in the empty part of the, the bar. Okay, so now I have my little pop-up that says action options, okay? Now I'm going to go to color. Right now none is assigned. And let's go ahead and assign it a color of blue. Now, other people like to organize, and this is totally up to you with organization. Some people like to organize their actions by, you know, maybe the the first actions you like to use, the the kind of to kind of like touch up, like add the contrast, brighten, make those a specific color. The creative actions that you like to use can be another color. Figure out how you want to color code your actions. Um, I know that's that can be a lot of fun in itself, but go ahead and do that. In this one, we're just going to color code our favorite. So I'm gonna select blue. Now, if you use this action a lot, you can also assign a function key, um, say F1. Now my, my F1 and F2 keys, I have a smaller keyboard, I'm working on a laptop right now. Uh, if I press them, I'm going to end up adjusting the brightness. So in that case, I'll want to assign the shift key with it, or you can do command. Um, I'm just gonna select none right now, but keep in mind you can absolutely do that. Um, so there, I've assigned this particular action. Um, I've color coded it blue. Let's go ahead and select make it warmer and just double click right there. Next to color, I can select blue. Press OK, and let's just keep scrolling down here. Eye sparkle, let's double click. I mean, this really is only gonna take a couple minutes. Now, look what happens when I uh, go back up to the top of my panel here and click on the little menu option. I'm gonna click on button mode and notice how my favorite actions are now color-coded blue. So they're much easier to find and all I have to do is click on the one I want. It automatically plays. I don't have to worry about clicking it, hitting the play button. I don't have to worry about scrolling through my panel and you know trying to find my favorites and you know it just it, it really does cut down on the time when editing so it's very very nice. Um, now there is another way, let's say you just don't want to scroll through all of your 
your um, actions collections you just have so many and you have your favorite favorites that you use all the time and you want them to be all bunched together now you can absolutely do that as well um, again to do this we're going to have to exit button mode okay so I'm gonna close this I don't even have all of my pretty actions um, collections open right now so, <laughs> so this is just some of them um, which is already quite a few so it, it can be overwhelming when you're you know scrolling through uh, and opening different collections so what we're going to do is create a, a favorites folder okay so down at the bottom of my actions panel I'm going to click on create new set it's this little folder kind of looks like a white uh, manila envelope <laughs> And I am going to name it favorites press OK okay so now I actually have to go in and find my favorites so let's use the same actions I'm going to do clean contrast in my pure collection I don't want to do anything to my original file I still want it to be here so I'm just gonna copy or duplicate it by clicking and dragging to this little uh, square paper with the folded corner I'm just gonna drop it there Notice how I now have a copy, and I can just double click on the, the name, um, erase, copy, and now I'm gonna click and drag it all the way to the bottom here because I want it to be in my favorites collection. Notice this is my favorites collection. Um, you wanna wait until that, notice how there's like a little highlighted line under favorites. Once you see that, you can just drop it, and it'll drop right in there. Okay, and you can do this for multiple collections. I have my retouch collection here. Um, let's just select all over shadow reducer. I'm gonna click it, drop it on the little paper with the folded corner icon at the bottom. I'm just gonna double click on the name, erase copy. Now I'm gonna click it and drag it all the way to the bottom <laughs> but notice uh, again I'm waiting for that little white line that that's highlighted underneath clean contrast here and you can drag them and reorganize them within the set okay very easily so now when I'm ready to edit and I really just want to kind of organize all of the actions within several collections that that's what makes this uh, way a little bit more organized if you're working with several collections that you really like to mix and match go ahead and drag those favorites into a new favorite folder and you'll have them all together and they'll be super, super easy to find. <laughs> um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you're able to organize your actions within Photoshop uh, a lot easier and um, be a little bit more efficient when editing. This is definitely a huge time saver and headache reliever. Uh, enjoy playing with your actions, guys.